Hello everyone. I recently put out a video where I cut a double start stub acme thread. I'll put a card up in the corner here if you haven't seen it. In that video I got a nice comment from Jeremiah Langston. He said, awesome. Do you just get the rough dimensions for your acme cutting tool from machinery handbook? How do you grind something like that and get it close enough that you can match the thread form with confidence? Thanks for the video. No, Jeremiah, thank you for the excellent question. The answer to that is you use one of these bad boys. This is a threading gauge for grinding Acme threading tools. It's used much in the same way as one of these, which I'm sure most of you are pretty familiar with. This is a center gauge or a fishtail gauge, and this is used to grind standard threading tools with a 60 degree profile. This is pretty much used in the same way. This gives you your 29 degree angle that the Acme threading tool has. And then you also have all of these notches on the side because an Acme threading tool has to have a pretty wide flat on the end. And if it doesn't have the right size flat, then the thread form will be incorrect. This is the threading tool that I used in that video. And like I said in the video, I had repurposed this from one that I had already ground for another Acme thread. And the angle's the same. All you have to do is just redo the flat. And in that case, I increased the size of the flat so that it would match the thread that was on the original part. In practice with using one of these, you would look for which thread pitch you're looking to cut. This does from one thread per inch all the way up to 10 threads per inch. If you wanted to cut eight, for instance, you would just need to grind your tool so that the flat corresponded with that notch. Nice, tight, snug fit. If I were going for three threads per inch, this is actually a little bit too narrow. I can shake that tool around in there. So I would need to increase the width of the flat, which is real easy. You just grind on the end. That's going to go very fast because there's not much material there, so it's very easy to go too far. If I were going for four threads per inch, the tool does not fit in there, so I would have the wrong thread profile. The only way to do that is to grind on the flanks. And there, you're using the thread gauge much like you would this fishtail. In practice, when I'm grinding a threading tool of any type, Acme, 60 degree, whatever, I always establish one side first. I'll grind the angle roughly in, make sure that I get my clearances, make sure that it's nice and flat, and then I'll make all of my angular adjustments on the other flank. This just eliminates one possible way of messing up because grinding on both flanks makes it very easy to lose the angle on the tool. This notch here is used when you're grinding to make sure that your flat is aligned to the angle, to make sure that it's not too far that way or that way. That's very important. And you can also use this when setting it up in the lathe. Much like the fishtail gauge, you would put this flat against your part, and then with your tool in the tool holder, line it up against this angle to make sure that your tool is actually perpendicular to the part. Just like the fishtail gauge, I'll hold the gauge up to the light and then put the tool in it and look at its silhouette. If the angle is not correct, you'll be able to see light shining in from the flanks. Thanks again, Jeremiah, for the excellent question. And if any of you have any kind of machining related question that you'd like handsplained in a future video, put it down in the comments below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe while you're down there too. I am getting tantalizingly close to 15,000 subs and I would love it if we could do that by the end of the month. Also, if you want to support the channel, check out my Patreon page. The link's down in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.